Aloha! And how you doing? Welcome to Ibachi Talk. Gordo the tech star here. I'm here with my good old buddy, Andrew the security guy. Aloha everybody. Nice to see Welcome you in back. town. And we have our guest today who's uh, Red Brio. Or you can say Brio, but that's not. It's Brio, right? Brio. Yeah, Brio PhD. Good. Nice to have you on the show, man. You're the first PhD Thanks we've had on the show. Here. It's pretty courageous of you. Well, maybe I'm... I, I, well, the show's leveling up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. So anyway, please grab yourself a libation, pull up a chair or a beach towel, and, and join us today for another exciting episode of Hibachi Talk. You're looking pretty cash today, dude. It's your birthday. I didn't work. It was your birthday yesterday. I leveled up. So your birthday yesterday, kind of nice. I was. Uh, 53. Guess who, ooh, guess who else's birthday it is? I don't know. Hamish McGullible's birthday is today. Oh, today, actually today. So one of our nice. viewers, we have a viewer, Red, his name is um, Hamish McGullible. Yeah, you're, you're internationally. Yeah, he's you're in, being watched yeah, there he is right there. There's his picture of him right now. He's sitting there right now in his back shed having a beer <laughs> and his chainsaw. I thought he says beers, <laughs> but it's beer. It's beer. Yeah, so there he is. That's Hamish McGullible enjoying his uh, birthday. Happy birthday, Hamish. Right on. Birthday. When's he coming on? Uh, we'll have to get him on. It's the fifth year anniversary of his uh, pacemaker, too. Oh. <laughs> well, how old is he? You know, I have no idea. Battery still working? Uh, it must be. He's still it's your brother. Uh, well, he sent me a text this morning. He's, a, he's a loyal, how old he's a loyal like, uh, viewer. He's younger than I am, so that's all I know. Okay, good so enough. I'm glad, so, glad. So am I. I'm so that. we have um, we have some some segments. We couple do, shows, you know, couple you of got, bits. A bit, and you know, got one tech job. We have some news and stuff like that. Let's do um, it. But you know, but this is, I'm going to changing things around. I like changing things around and make Zuri and Nick go crazy. Okay. So um, but, so you know, we, the script that you write, we never follow. Okay. Correct. I like it. Yeah. That's Thank okay. you. So Red, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, moved to Hawaii um, following my previous job. From we, Minnesota. From Minnesota. Oh, wow. That's where I went to school. I can tell you're from Minnesota. Oh, Zuri's from Minnesota. She loves Minnesota. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Zuri. Um, and then I came here for, for, initially I came here for a project and okay. I ended up falling in love with Hawaii. Oh, ah, so, yeah, right on. And then I met my wife and, and we have kids now. And yeah, this is home. This is home now. Amen. Um, love and, that. Been in technology for a while. And Where'd you go to school? Went to school in Minnesota and then HPU, then Argus University. That's right. So he's oh. alum like you and I. So we got three HPU alums. HPU, three HPU alums. Three HPU alums. We love so HPU. Yeah, there we Aloha. go. So, and I met you decades ago when yeah. you were with Sprint. Was it Sprint? I was with Sprint uh, for a while. I think that we worked on a project for uh, the city and county. For yeah, that police department. The police department. Which they're still using, I might add, today. Still using to this day. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, fire department and EMS as well. Yeah, and that was a that was a great project working with uh, Gordon, and I mean it. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, well, yeah. that was. We all uh, like work with Gordo because he's <laughs> he's demanding, but he but he but he actually finishes things. You know, well, that's one it's of the goals stuff. of life to finish things. That's right. What, what made it easy for us is he got it each time we said something. He got it, so we yeah. did not have to. Man, this guy's easy. sucking up big time. I yeah. may have you on uh, next week. He's not in charge of anything yeah. anymore, you know. You're like, you, are, you looking, are you looking for a co-host spot? He never gives me anything nice. <laughs> so what time? Tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. Right. Tomorrow. <laughs> you guys don't work on weekends, right? <laughs> not the weekend. Uh, not, not, really hopefully not this weekend. Hey, so we got a little bit of background on Red. So we have like some of our segments. So let's, we have this thing called the Uguno Got One Tech Job. So we find things that are happening around town or our or, or, uh, friends send to me. So we got today you know got one tech job so this is a shipment of uh, meat that came to uh, Hawaii it's, it's boneless pork rectums I think they lost something in the uh, translation is it called <laughs> isn't it called pork butts when you buy it at the store when I go to Safeway they're inverted it says inverted it what inverted oh they're inverted <laughs> I don't even, I don't, I'm at a loss. That's even words. funnier. I, I think when I finish here, I'm going to run and buy me some of... It's Chinatown just up the street. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I, I'd like to see the recipe first for, you know. I'd like to see it. And the, the presentation, you know, like. Before I eat it. It's, half of eating is about presentation. I mean, good Lord. Oh, my God. Okay. Goodness. Okay. So, Fair anyway, enough. This, that, what, that wasn't very thematic about digital signage. Yeah, I'm not. Well, that was about signage, though. It's about signage. So, it's if, about signage. If, if you're reading that in your local grocery, yeah. keep moving down the aisle, maybe. Down or down. maybe you have an affinity. I don't it's know. It's about content, and that content. <laughs> Ah, so, good point. so that's that's the point. Good the content point. has to be thought well thought of. Yeah, that's oh, it. So you're the president of uh, two one two communications. So right. tell us what. Um, uh, and I got news to do, but I still like to, I'm changing things around. I like so two one two communications. So what is that? So two one two communication is a digital signage company, but uh, it started 2010. Okay. Um, we approach digital signage from a different perspective not uh, like just content and and displays just to display that content we look at it more from analytics uh, perspective from internet of things perspective and how to make the digital signage also work for you how um, uh, all, almost uh, if you look at it just from a display and content it's that's Base, that's the basic. That's the basic. So, so yeah, like a know, menu at, at, menu at the store. store. So or when something. you're talking sure. digital signage, we go to we see things like that when we go around, right? We go to uh, office buildings now, and they got right. digital signage with some right. stuff maybe on the bottom. Um, Waikiki, I see a few in Waikiki that now are more. Um, they do some advertising and they push some things at you, but there's nothing that says that it's related specifically to me. So are you saying that you, what you're doing is that if I walk by your side, it's, it's going to read my, it's my, just, my card off my wallet and hey, say, Gordo. Hey, Gordo, Gordo likes to go scuba diving, and boom, we're going to nail him with that? Well, <laughs> we, we could do it, but now, now we're, security part of it does not allow us because it may be illegal. But, uh, but what we do is the, the user, the end user or the customer or the guest that is using that, that digital signage, uh, the experience for that particular person, we try to enhance it, try to make it better. Mm -hmm. We try to make uh, the information that that person provides just by touching a screen right. useful to the organization providing that digital signage. Instead of, I'm just reading the menu, um, if I have an interactive um, application that, that um, gathers uh, in data and analytics and I can take those that, that information and present it to decision makers uh, in a form of business intelligence, then it becomes more useful than it just a display. Okay. With, with so a you're sign. tracking where people are are touching or where people are going. It, 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 it can, that, that's what we focus on. And you on. give back to the client, they say, hey, they're going to this particular location a lot. Now, why are they going there, is it? Well, I love it for, from the security perspective because lo lobbies are an interesting place, right? You want to, people that are coming to a lobby need to be able to go where they're going, get that information quickly, maybe in right. a couple of different ways. Maybe they're uh, hearing impaired or sight impaired, and so the, you know, they're, their ability to interact and get the information they need and go, because the guy who is just loitering in my lobby, he mm -hmm. could be a problem from a security perspective. See, you're, you're, you're so, so paranoid. Uh, but, and, yeah, I'm paranoid. And yeah. you, and you a lot of times we have digital signage uh, solutions and technology, but we also rely on the human factor to mm -hmm. read and, and maybe take action. Yeah. Uh, with the integration of Internet of Things, you, you can remove that human factor. And for example, if there is a, a smoke detector um, integrated with digital signage, the minute that the smoke sensor detects oh. smoke, it changes the content instructs people to, how to, get to, to leave the building, gives, that's them, pretty gives cool. them the directions, and, and that way there is no panic. If there is, uh, another example, if there is, if there is an intruder at, at Active school, shooter, kind of yeah, things you exactly. talk about, the active shooter? Uh, he, can, he can change the content from, from, a, you know, from a safe and secure place and say, hey, student, go to a room, nearest room, lock yourself into the security. So you've got me thinking about this. It's just brilliant when you think about it, right? Yeah. If, someone, if there's an active shooter in a particular location, boom, you change the signage and you tell everybody to go in yeah. that direction or where the active shooter or shooters are not happy. Well, some people shelter in place, some need to uh, yeah. uh, egress. It just depends on, the, that's the good thing about having location tied to it, right? Because we can know. It's cool. Now imagine if 
if our um, police department, if our sheriff department have access to those signage. Before they get there. Amber alerts, they yeah. can, they, the crime, you see it's a small thing that we never think about. Right. From digital signage perspective, now it's, it, it's, it's a even, sensor. It's pretty You mentioned safety and you, cool. that's a very, very important. Yeah, very so cool. you get all of the, all of the, uh, the organizations that are having digital signage participating, participating in, the, in this, this effort to make things yeah, because it can become a sensor, right? It's gathering yeah, information yeah. as well. Uh, it can gather, you know, the analytics of how many people pass through. You can get traffic data. So, you can get uh, so lobby, now I'm lobby taking, wait times. you know, taking this, the digital science. We're going to dig deeper into it. And I'm going to my my news segment has a little kind of an interesting overlap on that, and I think, it's, and I'm thinking of it now just mm -hmm. as a result of what we're conversation, our conversation. So you know, Powbox uh, sends me information on uh, these new things that they see happening, and one of the things they talked about was where wearable trackers. So, you know, digital signage is a kind of a form of wearable tracker, except you're not wearing it, right? right. You're just going through it. But they were saying that the, that the mobile health apps, like your Fitbit, your, um, your Apple Watch, your Microsoft Watch, all those kinds of things that are tracking all of that healthcare stuff related to you are somewhat behind the, um, the, the uh, game when it comes to security. You know, you're, oh, yeah. you've got mm -hmm. non-HIPAA compliance and things like that. So, you know, th this, these kinds of things are happening. So developers need to start looking at bringing that up. They've been kind of exempt from it. But, you know, I'm thinking now if I'm walking by a digital sign, if it can read my Fitbit, I mean, I'm going extreme here, but if it can read my watch, um, which has my credit card and knows what my last purchase was, and up comes an advertiser for a golf club or something like this. I mean, these are all kinds of things that can right. start happening with right. the Internet of Things. So kind of a, a neat thing. The other thing they also know is that a lot of the stuff that gets bought, um, especially with the older people, and I can say this, um, they don't use it because they just don't, they can't comprehend it. So the oh. application developers got to kind of move that up a bit. So mm. anyway, kind of an interesting thing. And I, I think for a dead space too, like like if you're waiting in an elevator, you know how a lot of, a lot of those are become interactive on the elevator. Yeah. So there's some, some things where you can gather data about other services that are available in the building that you might need or or avail yourself of. So. Yeah, I mean, you've got, you know, I'm seeing in elevators now, you walk in the elevator, they got the video display up there. That's what I mean. You yeah. know, and they're saying, you know, there's places for rent, you know, um, uh, suites for rent in the buildings. Mm -hmm. um, if there's a restaurant, they talk about the restaurant. And it makes you, the perceived wait time, you know, a lot. It's alleviate that perceived wait yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's so. what, because people don't, people don't like their, they get bored quick, and so yeah, they, they, they have their phone, but if you can, if you can get them off their phone. Well, they, they did a study. Like, hey, look up at the screen. Yeah. Oh. They did a best study that said the best thing you can do in lobbies is put in mirrors, because people like to look at themselves. That's not wait time because they're putting, you know, they're looking to see how stylish they are. Anyway. Interesting. And so it, it depends on the industry where the digital signage is. Yeah, well, that's true. It can okay. be hospitality, healthcare, healthcare, and the secure, the privacy and ethics. Yeah. Part of the, of the technology has to be addressed. Okay. You're, you're, you're completely right, Gordon. Yeah. So let's hold that. Let's hold that pause because we're going to take. We have to. We have to take a break. And we've got to get Angus. He's got the security minute, but then at the same time we can talk about you know that privacy and what happens in, yeah. in the different audiences. And information, we're talking about content. So, so we'll go grab Angus off the beach. He's at a new beach, as you can see, and we'll be back in a minute. Aloha, I'm Chantal Seville, the host of the Savvy Chick Show, which you can watch every Wednesday at 11 a.m. on thinktechhawaii.com. On the Savvy Chick Show, we are all about inspiring and empowering women and girls to be the best they can be by having amazing guests from all around the world. So we hope you'll join us every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Aloha! I'm Jay Fidel, and I'm here with Pete McGinnis-Mark to talk about HIGP and research in Manoa. What about that show, Pete? I think it's great, Jay. Research at Manoa really provides faculty members at the University of Hawaii with an easy way of explaining some of the research activities we're conducting on the campus. For example, I do a lot of space research, whether it's the Moon and Mars, but many of my other colleagues do other interesting kinds of work, whether it's exploring the ocean floor in submarines, studying earthquakes and tsunamis, or other activities. So research at Manoa really provides us with a way of telling the general public some of the activities which we're involved in as well as communicating to our colleagues and students. This is a fun science and we really appreciate the activities which Research of Manoa enable us to talk about. I love Research of Manoa. Come around, join us. It's Monday, 1 o'clock p.m. every single Monday. Be there or be square. <laughs> 
Hi, my name is Justini Spiritu. This is my co-host, Matthew Johnson. Every Thursday at 4 p.m., we host the Hawaii Food and Farmers Series. This is the place you can come to for insight on the perspective and history and passions of Hawaii's farmers and all folks involved in Hawaii's local food system. What kind of folks do we have on? So we have everyone from local farmers, we have foodies, chefs, we also have journalists, uh, researchers, anyone who's actually working to help make Hawaii's local food system that much better. So join us every Thursday and uh, tweet into us and ask us some questions and leave your comments as well. Hey, aloha, and welcome back to Hibachi Talk. We found Angus on his, uh, I don't think he was at a nude beach. I think it was just a new beach. Angus, what's going on, buddy? How you doing there, dude? All right, what do you got for me hey, today? Hey, I dressed up today because we have a PhD in the house. You're looking good. Hey, lad, you're a PhD, right, lad? Uh, that means you went smart, lad. Right? Thank you. Nice meeting you, <laughs> nice too. Nice meeting you, too, there, buddy. Yeah, uh, you look uh, very nice. Very stylish. <laughs> did, you wear, did you wear a suit and tie when you did your uh, thesis? I wish I did. <laughs> I, I wore an Aloha shirt, which I like. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's awesome. Way to go there, lad. Anyway, I got a, I got a couple of wee things for you. Wait, show us. Are you ready for this? So anyway, I got my, uh, since we're doing signage and we're keeping thematic, this is the Scottish soup of the day. Oh, the sign of the day. Yeah, the sign of the day. Is Scottish, the soup of the day. Yeah, well, it could be that too, lad. Anyway, the Scottish sign of the day is like daily soup, whiskey. Good lord. Ah, oh, God, I love that place. I love your people. It's somewhere in Edinburgh. Hill oh, it's just, it's terrific. It's just a terrific. Hill Billy place. loves them, too. Hillbilly Billy loves them. He loves them. Anyway, I got a wee gadget. It's kind of thematic, a wee signage thing. So have you seen these laser projected keyboards? I have, but I didn't think they work too well. Yeah, well, know. anyway, it's a pretty cool thing. You know, it's, it provides fully functioning 63 QWERTY keyboard. You can, you know, you put it on, the, on, your, on your compact and portable. It puts it on your desktop. I it's see. awesome. It's got a built-in batteries. It's got all kinds of really cool things. It works for your iPad, your iPad 2, your iPhone, and all the other kind of things. I gotta try that. It's not bad. I'm gonna give it up. I'm gonna go out and spend some money. We bet on my Bitcoin. How much? Uh, $39.39. Uh, that's not bad. Not too bad. It's worth a try. So, so you know, let me know how that works. I'll give it a wee shot when we're out there. All right. Uh, that's no whiskey for you today. <laughs> it's gonna be coffee, duh. <laughs> what do you mean no whiskey? What are you saying no whiskey for me? Uh, kick this guest off the show. Oh. Oh, get out, get out. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I forgot about the priority. Yeah, yeah, please, please. My goodness. Anyway, we could have this guy back. Anyway, okay, okay. Everybody, remember, when you're in Hawaii, let your wing gang free wherever you be. Aloha. You too, Red. Aloha. <laughs> nice. Aloha. <laughs> nice. All right. Angus, thanks for that. Um, I don't know. Check out the keyboard. Give us a shout. Let us know if, if it works for you. And um, whiskey for soup of the day. I don't know. Chance them. Uh, I got a little bit of a security man. We got a we got a sign with some content on it. Um, these uh, these things are so easy to break into, and I want you to understand that when you're reading oh, yeah. when you're reading a sign, still use your brain because humans in the West we tend to think that the stuff we read is real, and it maybe isn't necessarily so. These devices right here that you see on the highway all the time, made by Echo. Uh, realistically have a little little keypad on a cord on the side of the sign um, it should be locked it may or may not be but obviously it's easy to get in and the password is DOT right you can find this anywhere on the internet Department of Transportation and so they're supposed to put another password in but to reset the device is two buttons that you hold down which you can also find which will reset the password to DOT so um, just be aware that signage uh, is critical, so pay attention to signage in emergency situations, but also understand that some signs that you see, especially temporary signs, um, question that content uh, perhaps if it seems odd, because I don't think there were any zombie attacks. That, uh, so we were talking about your uh, 212 communications and your dig digital signage company and how different it is from a lot of the others because of the analytics things that you're doing. Yeah, so what's the latest challenges? I mean, what, what are the fun projects you're working on? Um, some of some of the new projects we are, we're trying. Speaking of HIPAA, right? Um, mm. So we're um, looking looking at a lot of in-home care, a lot of um, 
a lot of technology going all the way to following the patient. Okay, so right. So we're trying, mm. one, one of the fun projects is to a marriage between healthcare and digital signage, although it, it, it's been around for a while. Another, um, another fun project, so it's been also around for like last three years, is location-based content. Mm. Um, when you have tourists on, on, on a bus or you have, mm. um, you have uh, just a, a passenger in a, in a cab, um, if I pass by Alamon Shopping Center <coughs> and there is something going on in Alamon Shopping Center, the content will change automatically, let me know. Yeah, I've is, seen, I, you um, know, I saw something like that, in, uh, I believe it or not, in the Trump, one of the Trump Towers in New York. I think, actually, I think Sprint was behind it way back in the day, yeah. where I walked by a digital sign, and they, you know, based, they would, they would be able to determine where you had been in the shopping area, and knew that I was looking at yeah. Aloha shirts or whatever, and then there'd be an ad that would come up on a, on a trip to Hawaii, or something mm. that was related. Yeah, it might have been some facial recognition or something. Doing yeah. Yeah. And so there is, there is that, that's another fun project also, is to just keep track of returning, returning, Mm -hmm. returning customers. Well, you look at Facebook, right? They can, you know, they look at the face, yeah. and then next thing you know, you've been tagged in a photo somewhere. Well, and I know, I know retail's big on dwell times, right? How long did you look at an item and then walk away, and they track that. So then they'll, they'll offer you, a, they'll send you a price to your phone, you know, they, a lower price and that kind of stuff. I think when, uh, going back to what I said in the beginning of the segment, right. is just making the experience of the end user better. Right. So we have new technologies in the, in the digital signage industry facial recognition, beacons, um, uh, analytics, and all that. But at the end of the day, if I, as a user, it have a good experience at a retail store, mm -hmm. at a restaurant, mm -hmm. at a hotel, right. because of the digital signage, then, I'm, then I think digital signage um, reach its goal or reach its objectives. Uh, if I walk just to the retail store, and the minute I walk, the digital signage, because the motion sensor senses, senses that I walked in and greet me, like, welcome, we have this or that. Or, or if I'm standing in front of a product, and the minute I pick up the product, that, the content that pertains to that product start, mm -hmm. start well, explaining to me, wow. then and the, experience, the experience becomes much, much better. So if you don't buy it, or you do buy it, then you start doing the analytics. analytics was in it the, the background. price, or was it the packaging? Yeah. Well, how, and how long did you pay attention and, to the video you know, and all those right. sorts of things? I mean, they, there's so, a lot of that in retail, I mean, yeah. for so sure. I picked up the product, I listened to the, to the information, but I still did not buy it. Yeah. So that business intelligence based on analytics, based on the technology, based on the oh, customer, customer experience becomes very, very important. Um, uh, just like we talked about in the beginning of the segment, is no longer just a screen with, yeah. with, with a price, with a picture, yeah. a picture and a it. price. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's, it's definitely it's expanded beyond you know retail, right? So, like right. you said, healthcare is into it. Uh, even the financial centers, every, everyone's worried about that customer experience because they're trying to keep their customers. Right. Well, I remember when Samsung came up with a it was Samsung came up with a TV, and in the EULA, they said that they were going to track um, every TV show that you watched and whatever. But no one reads the EULA, right? And then there was oh, a big, no. big, everybody got really upset when they found out, hey, you're literally in my living room tracking everything that I do. On your, on your TV, On sure. my TV. So you must, so, wow, how do you deal with the, eth, eth, the ethical, ethical things ethical? that are? Well, there, there is, uh, when, it comes to, when it comes to the legal side of it, okay. is, a, is a clear line. Yeah. Okay. It's either you're breaking the law or not breaking the law. When it comes to the privacy and ethics, then you know it's the responsibility of the service provider, which is like us providing okay. digital signage service service to an organization. And it's also the responsibility of the of the organization getting that information, asking for that information. So, so you must have a lot of smart people within your organization that are sitting looking at not only the technology but then the application of that technology. Well. I started the digital signage. It was a friend of mine and I. We started it, and we both we were both engineers. Okay. And and to your point, Gordon, we needed to understand the business side of it, the uh, the privacy, the security, right. uh, the marketing, all of the the things that we 
we did not stop and think about. And um, and my first step is to go back to school and <laughs> and get a PhD <laughs> and, you know, and, and in, in business awesome. administration. And, and it seems like ever since I've known you, you've always been going to school and you've always been learning and yeah. getting better. So believe it or not, with all of that, we have now burned through 30 minutes. I told you this would go fast. So 212 Communications. Yeah, check it out. Ed Brio. you got to check it out. Digital signage. It is the wave of the future. I can tell you right now, you can bury your head in the sand and say it's not going to happen but it, it, it has already happened. Uh -huh. But you take it to the next level with someone like Red's company, it'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, anyway, we also, no guest goes unrewarded. Uh, we, you get an autographed solo cup, you know, and I expect to see that on a digital signage somewhere down the corner somewhere. <laughs> you got <laughs> number 78 in the series. Episode 78 on, my, on our website, and it's also going to be on our Facebook page. Yeah, Definitely. there you go. Thank Perfect. You. Yeah. What more can we ask for? Anyway, we want to thank everybody for joining us today on uh, Think Tech and Hibachi Talk. Hamish, happy birthday. Andrew, happy birthday. Thank you. Happy and as we say at the end of every show, one, two, three. three. How, How you, you doing? doing?